In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. David dances before the Ark of the Lord. The reason he's dancing is because the Ark is being restored to the and returned to the people of Israel. It had been in with the Philistines for a long time, and now David has come to the house of Abinadab to bring it home. It's a cause for enormous rejoicing and triumph, and it's a huge party. And it's oddly appropriate that this be the reading for today, because today, July 11th, the 10 o'clock service at Grace Church is actually in the church for the first time in 15 months. And this is a cause of great rejoicing for us, that we are back together in our church and worshiping. We're also keeping the Zoom link active so that those who uh, are either off island or unable to join us can join us electronically. So the church, both online and in person, is the full church has gathered. And I just want to think for a moment with you about what it is to be in the presence of God, to actually be in God's presence. And maybe we are in God's presence in the church, but I did a wedding on Friday. Dearly beloved, we are gathered together in the presence of God to witness and bless. And later in the wedding service, I require and charge you both that if there is any reason why you may not be united in marriage lawfully, now in the presence of God, you are to declare it. And what I take from that is that the presence of God doesn't always need to be in church. And it, the presence of God is certainly in a relationship. And what that means is that the presence of God is in us. That we are the location of God's presence on earth as well as in the church, as well as in a relationship. What does it mean for us to be the repository for the presence of God and God's vehicle? I think part of what it means is that we should remember what the Society of St. John the Evangelist Rule of Life says in its chapter on hospitality. We are to remember who it is that comes to us seeking food or seeking shelter or prayer or counsel or simple acceptance. It is the Lord who asks this of us. And it is our gift and our grace to be able to provide it. It is the Lord, it is God himself or herself that approaches in the, in the body of another person. And what that means, I think, is that we are to live in such a way as to honor the presence of God in us to remember that what we do matters and that it is the person of God who comes to us for help, for advice, for counsel, really for anything. And so just as in marriage is a sacrament, the visible and outward sign of an inward and spiritual grace, so is how we are perceived, the outward and visible sign of our, our inward and spiritual relationship and home for the person of God. May God bless you. May God be with you.
and may God keep you safe. Amen.